Hello, everybody, and welcome to the sixth episode of, yeah, sixth episode of Healthy Living with Marilyn. I am so glad that you are all joining us tonight, and if you're not joining us, I hope that you'll catch us on the record, because we will be recording this, and Michael will be putting it up on my Facebook my uh, YouTube channel with my cute stinger in the front and the oh, back. Cool, yeah. Have you seen my stinger? I have. Yeah, it's, it's so way cool. Um, Ed Peterson did that for me. He awesome. says he has a couple more banged for me, but he hasn't shown them to me yet. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, um, and I am on, we are on Facebook Live, and if you mention anything, you comment on Facebook Live, I won't be able to answer it, but my wonderful administrative assistant Shawnice is right there watching my Facebook live so she will answer it will look like me but I'm about 20 <laughs> feet away so Not an octopus. Um, Good luck with that. my arm doesn't go that far you know I'm vertically challenged so my arm doesn't quite reach that far but Janice Shanice is going to be my gal tonight and she's always here for me she's my right hand gal I don't know what I do without her and uh, she keeps me on the up and up and organized oh my god because I'm not always organized so she makes me look real good real good and we have Michael a Hall who's doing my video and um, he's he's such a support and such a wonderful guy to help us out and my husband with the earphones, Xenophon Scott, is helping me with audio because audio is important. If you can't hear me, uh, what's the sense of being on TV, right? Right? That's right. True. So what we are going to be talking about tonight is energy. Energy and how to get it, ways to get it, how to keep it. I've been having troubles with my energy this week. Well, about a week and a half ago, you know, I messed up my arm and yes. I took a fall and my friend Judy said that I felt like a football player well that's great so um, but you weren't trying to tackle anything though. no <laughs> only my purse only my purse but um, to get started out I want to tell everybody I've been in the holistic field for close to 40 years yes I'm up there I'm a grandma of three kids three little grand boys who I'm telling you they just they ran me ragged this week mm -hmm absolutely ragged I love them I love Jacob and Isaac and Sammy but Sammy is seven and a half months old and he is on the move Ooh, Josie busy wow. busy wow. busy and you've been there before mm -hmm. right oh yeah I've got three grands they're now 13 8 and 9 so mm -hmm. a different phase but still busy and energized oh I know he's like the energy everybody <laughs> rather yeah that energizer thing. That bunny. Yeah. The energizer bunny. Energizer bunny. <laughs> yeah, dyslexic tonight. See what kids do to you during the day when you can't take a nap? <laughs> it is so true. true. I know, right? It the is naps so are good. True. Really. So I've been doing holistic healing for about for almost 40 years, about 38, 37 and a half, 38 years. Um, I took a sabbatical. I had a thriving practice in Richmond. I took a sabbatical about two and a half years ago to take care of Jacob, who is now um, two and a half, mm -hmm. and he takes care of Grandma yes. because I need, I need his balance and I need his help. <laughs> and so I started this TV show and I came out of my sabbatical and it's something that I've really stepped outside the box but as my friend Yamaja Jubilee says Marilyn there is no box oh well yep there is no box mm -hmm. so it's like okay I'm gonna fly because there is no box <laughs> it's all in the so, mind all it's in all the, all mind. the mind so but when I started doing this yeah. I was Josie and I met several months before I started doing mm -hmm. this on an event and we finally got back together because at that time I was on glamour leave yeah and we finally got back together and I said Josie I said, would you like to be my co-host? Mm -hmm. And Josie, she jumped at it, and I'm so glad, because she is my other right hand in yes. front of the camera, yes. right hand gal, and I so appreciate you being here, Josie. Well, it's an honor. I love being with you. I learned so much, and you know, this is really a match made in, in healthy heaven. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I like that. I, I like too. that. Yeah. And on my right here is a very good friend of mine. I've known Lisa for maybe five, five years, five yeah. or six years, yeah. right? It has been a while. Yeah, it's been a long time. And Lisa Hazelgrove 
um, started a group a couple years ago called HEAL, Healthy Educators Affect Affecting, Affecting Lives. Lives. Yeah, and we did a word word process website yes, and we did um, we're still on Facebook and we're still on Facebook mm, yeah. yeah and Lisa's been helping me she's she's a great colleague a great friend you. um, you're right welcome you. and you know she's always got my back and she's been helping me heal no pun intended <laughs> with my ankle which Finally, I don't need a cane. I don't have to have it wrapped. I'm just very careful, but I can't wear flip flops yet. Mm, no. Flip flops no are dancing, no. Heels. No, no, no dan dancing just yet. No heels. Are you kidding? No <laughs> heels. I'm not wearing heels right now. That would not be. I don't blame you. No, that would not, that would be, not great. be good. So, um, but Lisa's been, you know, um, she's been a, with me for quite a while. We've been friends and colleagues for quite a while. We've done some events together yeah. and you yes. know done some mm -hmm. talks and it's it's been a lot of fun and i'm so glad that lisa's here and last week she stopped everything to come over to my house when i didn't have the boys mm -hmm. yep. to help with my arm which i have rotator cuff problems and i am having an mri on monday that's good and it's going to be good yeah, yeah it's, it's going to be, be good yeah. but yeah. even that's if it's not i'm going to take care of it myself mm -hmm. because i just think it's better to do it that way for me yeah Everybody has their own choice, you right. know, but for me, I'm going to try my hardest to fix it myself. I understand. And there's some amino acids that I'll be using and yep. some other things and the magnets that Lisa will be talking about later that she got me back into, which I was so excited about because Love sometimes magnets. you just need to really, sometimes you got to take a break in, but then you have to get back into mm -hmm. things and that's really important. Yep. Yep. So... Um, the one thing I really want to talk about right now is how to maintain your energy. Now, yesterday and the day before was the first day I'd had the kids back. Mm -hmm. I think I jumped in too fast, yes. a little bit too fast. Yeah. Um, I hit blowout Tuesday night. We normally go to the grocery store on Tuesdays because up until... This past Tuesday, it was Old People's Senior Day. Senior citizen <laughs> shopping. But they don't have, old, they're stopping Old People's Day next Why? week. I, because they say they're going they're to lower the prices their prices. Overall. Oh, okay. So, so we'll everybody see. will be able to yeah. benefit. So everybody will supposedly like benefit, which Good. that's better, you know. Well, but you know, there are all the new stores that are coming, so the competition is about to go up. Yes, yes. So, you know. Publix is yeah. coming. Yes, Publix. Mm -hmm. Publix is coming, and all Lytle. these, all these yeah. are popping up Amazing. like flowers. And there's flowers. another one, Lytle, I think. Lytle, Lytle is coming. I think coming. there's one of those on the south side already. There are three of those going to be. If there is, I haven't seen it yet, so no, I guess I need gonna, to get more from Are they still being built? Is yes, it? Oh, okay. Not, um, okay. Right at Robia, sort of. Okay. Okay. Across from Aldi, almost. I have to check it out. Yeah. Well, I was told that Trader Joe's owns Aldi. They do? Yep. They do. Mm -hmm. Well, that's news to me. I did yep. not know yeah. that. Yeah. Yes. Just or the owner I... of Trader Joe's right. is also the owner of Aldi. Aldi, yeah. So, But they're popping up like flowers they, everywhere. They are. I know. Everybody right. should be healthy with all the foods, all the healthy food stores. Exactly. Right. Yes. You know, right. they should be. There's no excuse. There's no excuse <laughs> no. for you not to check the natural food yes. section in any grocery yes. store. Yes. And if you're looking for produce and you don't know if it's organic, look at that little sticker yep. on mm -hmm. the veggie or fruit or whatever you're looking at. Mm -hmm. If it starts with a nine and has five digits, yeah. that means it's organic. Even if it doesn't say organic, mm -hmm. that means it's organic. Mm -hmm. If it starts with a four or a three and it's four <coughs> digits, excuse me, bless you, Lisa. <laughs> if it starts with a four or a three and it's <laughs> four digits, that's not organic. Mm. And my suggestion is don't buy organic foods in bags or in containers. Yeah, yeah. Because one day I went to the grocery store with my husband on Old People's Day <laughs> and the tomatoes, the organic tomatoes looked really bad, Ooh. really, really bad. And there weren't that many of them. It wasn't much to choose mm, from. Right. But I saw this container there mm -hmm. of... Um, four tomatoes together but you can't touch them because it's in a cellophane mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know they've got it in a little tray and mm -hmm. everything yeah. so i thought okay organic i'll buy them so when i went home i took them out and laid them out on the counter don't refrigerate your tomatoes always keep them out on the counter um, even after you cut them 
No, after I cut them. Oh, I, put I was going to say, because after I cut them, I refrigerate them. Yeah, after I okay. cut them, yes. I refrigerate them. Yeah. But, yeah, I put them in a little container, too. I used to put mm -hmm. them in a baggie, but my husband's always putting them in containers, so. Yeah, I do glass containers. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I, we put them in a container, and they don't last long in my house. No. Mm -mm. You know. <laughs> so um, I, I cut open this one tomato that was organic in the package, and mm. lo and behold, it had no seeds. No seeds. <laughs> No seeds. It's like, mm. really? Frankenstein tomato. Well, you know, tomato. that's, that's uh -huh. the new O and GMO. Is, it's yeah. G maybe organic? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. That's funny, so, <laughs> that's, I like that. That's good. So I don't, you know, I don't buy things, yeah. buy vegetables or fruits if I can't touch it, if I yes. can't smell it, if I can't look at it, right. if I can't thump it, whatever. Right. So, yeah. Because I feel that a lot of times when you buy things like that, I don't know, Maybe it's just me, but sometimes my energy just goes down. Mm. I don't know why, yeah. but it does. Yeah. So um, and shop the outside. Shop the outside, outside of the grocery, of the grocery store. store. Outside aisles, not and the inner aisles. And let me tell aisles. you, you'll get more energy doing that. Oh yeah. Because you shop the outside <laughs> of the grocery store. The only thing you have to go inside is for maybe paper towels and toilet paper or something. Yeah. Um, but other than that, get those in the big boxes. Well, yeah, you can. <laughs> but um, you still got to go get them. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. we all still need some of those items. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> shop the perimeter of the grocery store. You can get your produce. You can get your meats, your dairy. You're out the door. Yeah. Mm. You know, and it cuts down on your grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. It cuts down on your time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because as we all know, we can't get time back. Yeah. It's not refundable. Once we use it, mm -hmm. we use it. It's gone. it's gone. And if you waste it, you lose it. Mm -hmm. yes. So be mindful of your time. Be mindful of how you're energizing your body. Mm -hmm. Making sure that you get plenty of exercise, which I've been working on this week. It's been kind of hard because of my ankle and my arm, yeah. but I am trying to exercise as much as I can. Um, and just keep moving. Just yes. keep, keep moving. moving. Just yeah. Keep yeah. moving. Keep yes. moving. And if you're in the... In, if you're in the kitchen and you know you want to do some arm exercise, I can do this this week. Last week I couldn't do I, that. That's awesome. I know. If it wasn't for Lisa, I don't know what I would have done. Um, thank you, Lisa. I you're appreciate that. You're very welcome. That. But um, you know, take a couple soup cans and just lift weights with your soup cans. I, I do. Know, it I helps mean, energize. I do you. with the detergent because that thing is, is heavy. <laughs> that's it's heavy. Five pounds and yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you know, find something in your kitchen that you can lift up and use that it'll help give you energy or march or if you've got a rebounder jump up Love and down rebounder. on your rebounder <laughs> yes. also that helps with your lymph, lymph glands mm -hmm. because it moves the lymph fluid mm -hmm. in your glands because we don't have a pump for our lymph glands like like we do for our blood we mm -hmm. have the heart our heart pumps the blood through our circulation and we don't have one of those for, for our lymph for glands. Lymph. So you've got to get your lymph glands going because you don't want them to get clogged. You don't want them to get swollen. That's no fun, believe me. Yes. I'll tell you, it's no fun. So um, that's another way to energize. Make sure that you're getting plenty of good, nutritious food. I finally, you're going to be proud of me. I gave up bread. Yay! That Woo! was so yes, hard. hard, wasn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness! I thought I, I thought I yeah. couldn't do it. I thought I couldn't do it. It but is it's amazing. so incredibly yes. hard. But when I eat bread, that lowers my energy yeah. because mm -hmm. it's a carb, yeah. and I get tired and I want to go to sleep. I, mean, think I totally want to go to sleep. Turkey sandwich? Oh my goodness! Have a turkey sandwich after Thanksgiving and I uh, even well, had Thanksgiving, a sandwich in Thanksgiving forever. Day coma, right? You <laughs> right. Have a turkey and you're excited. you know because when you eat too much, you get tired and mm -hmm. you say, well, why am I so tired? Well, the reason why you're so tired is because your digestive system has said, to work. You ate too much food and now I have to work overtime, mm -hmm. so you got to yeah, go to so sleep. You're going to suffer. You're going to go to sleep. <laughs> Because yeah. that's what you have to do. Or a lot of tryptophan. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 You know, tryptophan is in turkey. I mean, it's a great way to fall asleep. Yeah. A good old turkey sandwich oh, on man. some bread. Nothing oh, my goodness. I can taste it right now. <laughs> however, however, <laughs> having said that, I, I have given up bread. Good and you. Yes. I gave up sugar. Ooh. Yay. That's, Both. A that's a big one. That's a big one. Yes, it is. That's a huge one. Mm -hmm. It's huge. I have not had any jelly. You know, I like peanut. I like almond we butter and jelly. We talked about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. good for you. That's awesome. Yep, I've given up jelly. 
Um, that's a tough one because sometimes I would just take a little spoonful of it mm. you know, and put some almond butter on it and have peanut butter and jelly or almond butter and jelly on a spoon. That's so I wouldn't have I the bread. To, yeah. yeah, I used to eat it straight out of the jar. There you go. Yeah. There you go. But I'll, nut butters do give you energy. You know, mm -hmm. if you need energy, I mean, this afternoon I was eating nut butter on some rice cakes. Now mm -hmm. I was eating rice cakes, but they're rice. Yes. It's mm -hmm. not bread. And um, you know, I just needed, I needed a little bit of get up and go. Yes. Because my get up and go was got just up and went. got up and <laughs> went. <laughs> yes, it's so got up and went. Yes, it does. That. So you know, making sure to get enough energy, making sure that um, you're eating well, and sometimes you don't want to eat three meals a day. Sometimes you just want to meet, eat like five mini meals. I've done that. I've been doing five to six mini yeah, meals. Yeah, five to okay. six mm. mini meals. Um, I have been drinking a shake in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, because I've been upping my exercise, um, I did get a wonderful um, powdered shake at um, one of our local health food stores up in Short Pump. I won't say the name, um, but the, the initials are VS. And, um, <laughs> Vanilla shake? V.S. Yeah, it's not vanilla shake. Um, <laughs> but anyhow, it tastes like watermelon, and it was really, really good. And I've been drinking that because it has L-glutamine in it, and it's helping, hopefully, repair my muscle over mm -hmm, here. Right. So, um, okay. you know, if you make sure that you get enough exercise, that you're eating right, and sleeping, and Lisa will be talking about sleeping shortly. Um, she is an adjunct professor. You're an adjunct professor, right? Yeah, at, your at, the, at the University at of Richmond. Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. And she it teaches that a couple times a year. And you're having another seminar, which you can talk about shortly, okay. um, yes. that I saw on Facebook. Yes. But um, what other ways do you, have you found to get energy, other than taking a nap in the afternoon like you did today? <laughs> Walking gives me a lot of yes. energy. Does it? Um, I like to start my morning with a nice, brisk walk. Mm -hmm. When I come back, um, I have a lot of energy, fresh air, oxygen. Yes. Breathing, oxygen. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's energizing because my body can't exist without oxygen. Mm -hmm. Right. And Nobody's the, body can. And it's the exist brain's without. food. Yes. So you know, if I get that good oxygen, that nice walk in the morning, it carries me for a while. And then I do like to stop and take a nap and just be still. Yeah. Um, I just don't like a lot of toxic energy around me. No, People that's another or thing. TV or drama. When mm. when you Keep go to away. the mall or you go shopping, you'll pick up that toxic energy, yes. and yeah. that's why so I like good to shop either. online. Yeah. I know it's the point <laughs> and click method. But anyhow, um, you know, and if you regulate your day, if you are more organized with your day, is what I'm going to be doing starting tomorrow. And my mother says tomorrow never comes. I know that, mom, but. You know, it will come. It does come. Um, I'm putting in my calendar a time when I'm going to have some me time, mm -hmm. where I'm going to be doing some exercising, that. some yoga, some mm -hmm. stretching, yep. all by myself. And Good. Zen's probably thinking, yeah, she is. Well, I really am, <laughs> Zen. Um, I'll probably go Start up in my creative. You know, this morning I woke up at 6.15. I ran out of sleep. You ran out of sleep. I ran out of sleep. I've had that okay. happen before. I did not have to get up till 8 o'clock, and I ran out of sleep. Wow. And I think it's because I slept so soundly last night. It's okay. the first night I Ooh. slept without any pain. Good. Okay. Yay. So um, it's, just been, it's just been a struggle, mm -hmm. you know, to get sure. my body in the right position at night, and it's been really tough. Yeah. Um, but another way to keep energizing is detoxifying your body. Mm -hmm. And last week we had Debbie Troxel on as our guest. And I want to thank Debbie Troxel. And I don't know whether she's watching, but if she doesn't, maybe she can catch us on, on the rewind. Um, she's one of our new partners. And I'm really excited about that. And she does the ionizing cleanse because it's very important to detoxify your body either by teas or supplements mm -hmm. or doing a foot cleansing. Mm -hmm. it's give, it boosts your metabolism. Mm -hmm. It gets your energy going. Um, and I have been doing this ionic cleanse because several months ago I had puretus, which and my, it has to do with your liver. Yes. And That's I true. had itchy skin with no rash. Mm. And... I realized what it was. Being a digestive skin. enzyme specialist, I right. realized what it was. And I tried everything. And then one day, 
I called her up and I said, I need some help. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when I started doing that, after about eight weeks, the itching was totally gone. Awesome. I've not had to use any anti-itch creams or anything like that on Great. me. And mm -hmm. it's been, I really feel that this has been so successful for mm -hmm. me. Um, Michael, can you, can you um, zero in on this? This, um, this pamphlet here? And here's another pamphlet. This is her thermography. Mm -hmm. She um, also does thermography for people who um, would prefer that instead of getting a mammogram. Or she also does thermography on other parts of the body, which I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So if you have questions about this, um, her phone number is 804-683-7774. She's got a lot of sevens in there. <laughs> lucky so. seven. I like lucky seven. Thank you. Lucky yeah, sevens. lucky seven. And she's, she's just so delightful. If you watched my show last week. I did. Um, she's and just really good. if any of your shows, they can always go back right. to Season. YouTube Live. Right. Healthy Living with Marilyn. Healthy and Living with the, Marilyn. Catch Living. the previous five. Right shows five shows right and now six now six mm-hmm mm -hmm. so um, I'm just really happy that Lisa and I reconnected because for a while when when I was just being a grandma and playing Legos on the floor I wasn't really talking to anybody yeah. I was like MIA yes and you were people were wondering well Marilyn when are you gonna get back in the game and I would say I have no clue <laughs> you know but then when this opportunity came up I decided, well, I'm just going head on again. Now, I don't have a practice. I don't have an office right now because I still watch my grandkids three days a week. Um, but I do make house calls, so if you want to come see me, um, you can call me at 804-350-0034. But anyhow, um, I talked to Lisa oh, a couple months ago when I finally called her. I called her back and it's like, I've got to get back into holistic healing and my colleagues that I sort of jumped off the end of the earth. Yes. And, and I talked to Lisa and I said, Lisa, can you be on my show? Well, she, we scheduled a time. And so I just want to introduce my dear friend and colleague, Lisa Hazelgrove. Thank you so much for coming, Lisa. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Marilyn. I'm yeah. excited to be here. So how did you get interested in the subject of sleep? I got interested in sleep 13 years ago uh, because my son and I both were having trouble sleeping. Uh. I, I was very uh, clinically sad and uh, was on 10 prescribed pills a day. Oh my goodness. Wow. And I was 70 pounds heavier and I couldn't even walk up my steps without breathing real heavy. Oh my goodness. And I just thought I'm gonna die. And I did a lot of praying, and uh, the Lord sent me a solution through the name of a company called Niken, a total wellness company. Mm -hmm. I was so excited to learn that they addressed all major aspects of living, mm -hmm. not just nutrition, not just energy, not just environment, but sleep. And I went, you have something for sleep. And they said, <laughs> yes. And I went, well, I want to hear about this because I don't sleep well at all. Neither does my son. And that's, that's how it started. That's how it all started. I, I was, and when I found out that sleep was the foundation of our health, mm -hmm. and then all of our symptoms started to go away after we started sleeping, I went, wow. I want to know more about this. And I just kind of dove in and just did my own research. I've been doing my research for 13 years on sleep and how we can sleep better. So your seminar that you're going to have, tell us about your yes, seminar. Yes, so I'm going to be doing, um, it's a, really a class that I'll be doing right. at Residence Float and Sound, and they're in Sycamore Square. I will be teaching in this class, which will be from 9 to 5 on June 3rd. It's a Saturday, friends. It's a Saturday, and you will have an hour break for lunch. But I will be delving into all of the modules that I talk about in my six-week course at mm -hmm. University of Richmond. So you're getting a crash course on what mm -hmm. I teach them. Um, uh, and 
eight yeah. hour crash course An that eight she hour. teaches in six weeks. Yes, you know? in six weeks, yes. But uh, I will be able to cover all of the highlights of what I talk about in the class. That's great. Yeah. And what's the cost of this? It is $75 for the class. That's it. Normally, yes. normally wow. a $600 class. Yeah, it's a $600 say, class. Yeah. So it's yeah. a, good, a good deal. And it's six weeks versus eight hours. Yeah. You know, I know, right? Really? It is, I know, yes. Even my students get a little, you know, how many more classes do we have? <laughs> it's hilarious. Really? Yes. <laughs> Now, do some of your students fall asleep during class? Uh, some of them do. <laughs> so I'm just curious. It's not a good well, thing. You're teaching sleep. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, I, I made the mistake one time of asking them uh, what they wanted to get out of the course. Uh, one guy said early. Uh, <laughs> You know, they may be they may be sleep deprived, but they still have their sense of sense humor. Of humor. <laughs> yes, they do. Um, but yeah, I get them to gently nudge the guy next. To him. I'm like, can, can you wake this guy up? You know. Um, but yes, yeah, some of them actually do fall, do asleep. fall asleep. Yes, they do. That's funny. Um, they're very sleep deprived. I mean, think about it. When you Students. were in college, did you, I didn't get any sleep. Did you pull any all nighters? Oh, uh, that's all I few, ever did. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's so, um, I lived on coffee. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, they, that's and basically. Shanice over there says, yeah, I live on coffee, too. She's, she's, she's got it down on the yeah. floor who, beside who her did, now. Who did not uh, go through college without really getting a good night's sleep? I mean, I think all of us, basically. I had to go home to get a good night's sleep. Well, just, this is And true. I lived six hours away from where I went to college. Well, that's, so that was tough, home. right? Yeah, I couldn't do that all That the was time. a long drive. It was a long drive. Yes. A long drive. Yes. But I know you do something called the emotion code. And how does that help with sleep? I do. I um, love the emotion code. The emotion code, too. if you've yeah. never heard of it, this is the book. I you know, don't know mm -hmm. if you can zoom in can on that. Can you zero in on that, Michael? But um, it's written by Dr. Bradley Nelson. And Dr. Bradley is a chiropractor. Uh, and what he did, I, I met him at a Niken convention. Uh, how serendipitous was that in 2006? And he was doing a workshop on the emotion code. I was fascinated by this because I'd always thought there was a missing piece to what I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, that self-care or self-healing mm -hmm. is so important and we, we need the tools to do that. Mm -hmm. But whoever thought that we trap emotions in our body Physically, mm -hmm. we do. We do, yes. and um, you know, the emotion code. It, it's a powerful and simple way to help rid ourselves of what I call emotional baggage. I mean, how many of you ever go on vacation and you feel like you carry an extra bag with you? I mean, yes, and it's an invisible bag full of all of these emotions. And releasing those trapped emotions, it often results in a sudden disappearance of physical problems self-sabotage, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and relationship difficulties. Um, you know, it, it's really, like I said, it's a powerful modality of self-healing. Mm -hmm. I had um, a lady that contacted me that, something else, am I? Oh, okay. Um, she was telling me about her toddler that was having trouble sleeping, and normally this little guy was the best sleeper, and then all of a sudden it was just a nightly battle of crying, of trying to get him to go to sleep. I'm not being fresh. <laughs> there you go. That's fine. That's good. Okay. <laughs> anyway, she contacted me, and um, she said that she knew that there were some things that had gone on. Uh, they had moved and a lot of things that could probably be causing this shift in his sleep pattern. And what I did was, I, you know, I was able to focus on those issues mm -hmm. and release the trapped emotions for him. And she said that it was awesome. The next night he went to bed without fighting to go to sleep mm -hmm. and he hasn't had any problems since I had released those trapped emotions. And so how old was this he, young person? He was Five. Wow. Yeah. How do you release trapped emotions? So what I do is I use a chart that Dr. Bradley gives mm -hmm. us in his book of negative emotions. I use okay. muscle testing or kinesiology. I don't know if you're familiar yeah. with that. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm a kinesi I've been a yeah. kinesiologist for, I don't know, But it's wonderful. Years. Actually, that's how I actually go shopping for yes. my groceries because I ask my body, I tap with into the, the subconscious mm -hmm. memory, and right. I ask it, do you need this? Do, do you, you need, want mm -hmm. this? Do you accept this? Yes. And by using that, kind of a, like a lie detector test. I'm mm -hmm. able to find out which emotions, mm -hmm. um, you know, typically, um, you know, anger seems to come up sometimes. And it can be something very simple and, and small, but, you know, it's just the way that it just trapped in our body. 
and as it lodges somewhere in your body and we find it I find it all caught in ears and knees mm -hmm. lady was having trouble with her knees and we released the trapped emotions that were in her knees and she actually felt better as she left yeah, mine are normally up in my shoulders. I think most people tend to trap, and I trap carry, a lot in my neck. My neck, we carry my neck, stress, we carry our our stress in, in our, our shoulders. Upper body. And I find a lot of trapped emotions, yes, in our neck. I, carry, I used to carry a lot in my lower back, you know, where your waistband is? Yes. I used, and it, yeah. it used to be painful. And I went to a chiropractor who was blind, and I thought, Interesting. Yes. And the mm. one thing, he was one of the best chiropractors I ever went to because when you lose a sense, you gain, you're, you oh gain yes. a lot of, your other senses are so much more, more heightened. Yeah. More heightened. Yeah. So his sense of touch where he could, yes. he could feel the skeletal system oh, wow. was enormous. Mm, but great. then when I started really using um, some very good um, products, mm -hmm. supplements that I had, mm -hmm. the pain started to go away. Yeah. Yeah. So, Interesting. Um, and we'll talk about that in, a, in another show, <laughs> in another day. Another day. But, um, so how does the emotion code hope with sleep? It just helps get rid it of... It helps to get rid of those trapped emotions. Right. So when you go to bed at night and your brain starts going, and you can't turn it off, right. and you're trying to do everything <laughs> short of counting sheep, yes. which the sheep don't appear anyhow. We call it cognitive popcorn. Pop, right. pop, 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 pop. All pop, these pop. things pop into your brain. Right. Uh, and yes, and releasing those trapped emotions. It could be an event that came, uh, happened in your childhood mm -hmm. that you relive over and over and over again as you try to lay down and go to sleep. And yes, subconsciously, it's still bothering you. So we need yeah. to find it. And I use the magnets to help um, release that. So how many hours of sleep should we get, Lisa? Okay, so what is the magic answer? Um, you know, it some, really depends on the person. It depends. Everybody's it an really individual. Does. I've had one lady ask me, she says, you know, is it six? Is it seven and a half? Is it eight? Is it nine? Is it ten? Um, and because we are all individual and we're all different, I, um, it takes, uh, I actually get my my students to do a sleep diary for a few weeks while we're doing the class mm -hmm. so we can figure out what your Goldilocks zone is mm -hmm. and that is the amount of sleep that you need to feel rested that your body was able to repair and replenish and mm -hmm. rejuvenate uh, during sleep because that's what's going on with their body um, you know it's um, 90 minutes is one complete cycle of sleep, so some people think, oh, well, I need to sleep in 90-minute segments, but that's not necessarily true um, right. because then the eight hours is thrown out the door because right. that's not consecutive with that. Mm -hmm. um, and people have asked me, you know, what about six hours of sleep? Only about 5% of the population can do well on six hours of sleep. I can't. Mm. I can't. When I was in yeah. high school, I had mononucleosis. Yeah. And ever since then, yeah. I have always needed my sleep. sleep. If I don't get eight hours mm. of sleep a night, yeah. I'm done. And my husband get, does well on six. He is one of those few. He's what we call an anomaly. Uh, he does well on six hours, and he mm -hmm. has that um, enough to have that energy mm -hmm. to, you know, give him what he needs throughout the day. Yeah, I so need how do you, I need seven and a half to eight hours sleep. How do you start a sleep diary? I mean, do you do you need to know when exactly you fall asleep? Uh, do you, does it require someone else to identify you went to sleep at such and such a time? You can basically identify that yourself. Uh -huh. So I, mean, um, I know when I go to bed. That, that that's no one idea. of the questions. I you don't I know what time you go to bed approximately. Well, I know what time I go to bed, but. I think I'm pretty, I think I go to sleep shortly after. Well, and I, I there's a way you can do that. Okay. Um, you know, Dr. Dement, who's the father of sleep um, uh -huh. at, at Stanford, thank goodness for his lack of sleep. We, we, we know more about sleep <laughs> yeah. than we've ever known Dementia. about sleep. Um, but he said you can hold a spoon in your hand. And once that drops, uh, you can look at the clock, of course, look at the time before you, you know, start okay. this. And then when it drops, it wakes you up. You can look and see how long it took you to actually uh, sleep, what we call oh, sleep latency. See yeah. how long it took you. But you can really guesstimate that because most people will look at the clock. Okay. Uh, I would say it, it, normally it should take you between 20 to 30 minutes to fall asleep. Okay. I have people tell me all the time, I don't have any problem with sleep. My head hits the pillow. I'm asleep right mm -hmm. away. That's not necessarily a good thing. That could mm -hmm. be a sign of sleep deprivation uh -huh. because it should take you a little time, sleep, onset sleep or sleep latency to get to sleep. It oh, okay. should not be immediate like that. Okay. It takes time yeah, to do Zen that. Yeah, Zen says normally when I hit the pillow, I'm gone. But I'm like a light. <laughs> I, I'm on the pillow and, and then and I'm And then you're gone. out. 
But recently, I've not had that, you know, I've not been able to fall asleep that fast. It takes me about 20 to 30 that's minutes. That's actually normal. That is, that's how well, long I'm glad should. I'm sleeping normal mm -hmm. because this morning yeah. I woke up at 6.15 and for me that wasn't normal mm -hmm. because I like to sleep in and I didn't have to get up. But well, I got up anyhow. I tried to go back to sleep. Yeah. It didn't work. Well, and that's what my students say. Can I make up for the sleep on the weekends? No. No. The train left the station long ago and yeah. you missed that period of sleep. Yep. There's so many important things that go on that I can't go into right now uh, with their organs as we're sleeping and I call it a body clock and that's repairing those organs a certain time of night or a certain time during the day. But you have to set that sleep schedule, a time to go to bed and a time to wake up and try and adhere to that sleep schedule. Mm -hmm. Eventually, your body will wake you up. My body wakes me up and tells me it's time oh to get up. That's and I, what happened I actually this have a sleep mask on so I can't even see the light coming in the window. But my body clock is set and it my. wakes me up naturally. Yeah, you. well that's what's been happening to me because I've been going to bed at a certain time at night mm -hmm. and I try to go to bed at that time within 30 minutes, yes. eat one way or the other, and I, That's wake ideal. Up, yes. I wake up the next day and I set my clock like for 8 o'clock because the kids don't come till 9 mm -hmm. and it doesn't take me that long to get ready and get a bite to eat. And I try to use, I try to sleep as long as I can, yeah. but when you run out of sleep, you just can't run, you can't go back to sleep. Your body's trying to tell you it's had it's, enough. Your yeah. body is telling you, so friends, if you're running out of sleep <laughs> and you wake up in the morning and say, oh my gosh, I want to go back to bed, and you can't, yes. that is because your body is saying you've got enough sleep, it's time to, to get wake up, up. rocking and rolling yes. and do what you need to do. Correct. Right? Yes. Correct. Right. Yes. So you are also a Nikon distributor, so Correct. how do magnets help people sleep better? Well, I, the best way I can tell you that is I have a good friend of mine that just recently borrowed our sleep system and it consists of, I've got a little pad here, it consists of a pad. And it's bigger than that, that's just a sample, well, friends. Well, you just add water and expand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just, just kidding. Um, <laughs> But it comes in different sizes to fit your bed. And then I have a comforter that has the magnets in it. And I also have a pillow that has the magnets in it. And I let her borrow this. And she said that she experienced the best sleep she'd ever had. Wow. She could not believe it. She said that she woke up rested and energized for the day. She didn't toss and turn like she normally does. Mm -hmm. She didn't have the discomfort or pain that she normally does mm -hmm. from, from sleeping. And she said, I so wished I had learned about this or listened to you earlier about how because I kept telling her how you know important this how was it's important and right. how it was helping me to sleep better but also there was a study done at Tufts University and they were trying to figure out if the magnets would help people that had chronic pain and sleep disturbances that had fibromyalgia mm. And they used a magnetic pad for them to sleep on. And the outcome was the subject sleeping on the experimental mattress pad experienced a significant decrease in pain. Mm -hmm. So yes, the magnets actually do help us sleep. Lisa's better. been doing magnetic therapy on me. Um, she came over to my house like two days after I fell, right? Yeah, it was. I yeah, know. it was. I mean, she was over at my house. She's knocking on my door and she's there. And she lent me an infrared um, blanket mm -hmm. which I used and I really slept well the pain was decreasing even though I woke up in the morning and I felt like the tin man because moving my arm <laughs> oh, no. when you don't when you don't you use it, it and you're sleeping yes. at night and you yes. don't, the muscles just sort of con contract yeah. mm -hmm. and moving it in the morning is like trying to climb Mount Everest mm -hmm. it's almost impossible yeah. Yeah. so I just move it slowly mm -hmm. and um, I have this one magnet duo that my, my grandson calls it the car with bumpy <laughs> wheels. And I put that on and I've been using that. But the magnets have really helped. Well, we used this, didn't we? Right. We used what she calls the thumper, but the it's thump not really It's called the Kinko Touch and it's actually a pulsed magnetic field. Right. And um, we just put this on her arm. Right. And, and it, it's, yeah. it was wonderful. Yeah. It was so, you know, if you're having problems with um, pain or um, anything like that, get in touch with me because um, I do Nikon now. And, um, and if you have, even if I have any questions and I don't have the answer to your question, 
I know who to call. <laughs> yes, you do. So Lisa yes. is a plethora of information <laughs> yes. with magnets and sleep yes. and um, all kinds of good stuff. All kinds of things. Kinesiology. I've been a kinesiologist for a very long time. Um, but the one thing, the one big question I want to ask you, okay. we live in such an electromagnetic field yes, life now do. with everything. Yep. How do electronics interrupt our sleep? Well, it, this is about energy and we are a mass of energy. Yep. We ourselves produce energy. Mm -hmm. And uh, energy doesn't die, period, people. No. It doesn't die. It doesn't die. It, we can revive it. Right. <laughs> But, and, and the most asked question of all to me is, where did my energy go? Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, there's so many things that contribute to the lack of energy. Sleep, lack of sleep is one of them. Right. Lack of good food, lack of clean water, clean air. All of these things help us to create that self-healing environment for our right. bodies. But um, I'd say one of the biggest reasons that we have trouble sleeping is your man-made electrical magnetic fields your computers, your phone. I mean, who doesn't have a phone, right? And of course, they keep going up with your, your, your gigahertz there. And it's not really a phone, it's a computer. It's a computer, yes. You know? And what they're, what they're finding out is that it reduces the melatonin levels in humans. Mm -hmm. And melatonin is a hormone that we have in our bodies yes. to help us sleep. sleep. Mm -hmm. Yes, it I is. think it also messes with the serotonin in our bodies too. It does, right. Um, but anyway, so it is a natural neurohormone. It's a powerful antioxidant. It's uh, an antidepressant, believe it or not. And it's also an immune enhancer um, that regulates our circadian rhythms, right. which we've talked about. And so I asked them to look at their environment. Do they have the phones beside their bed? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, most of my students do because they're using that as their alarm clock to wake them up. So what I do ask them to do is to put it on airplane mode. And airplane mode really means that you're not connected to Wi-Fi anymore. Mm, right. So you're not going to get those EMFs coming through that phone. And uh, please don't ever put it underneath your pillow. And I've seen women oh actually stick it in their... I've seen women. I had a gal. <laughs> I used to have a yarn shop. And I had women come in with their cell phones and they'd stick it into their underneath bra their, or whatever. They'd stick it they're, in their, their bra. In their shirt, yes. In their shirt. Yeah. And I would say, no, yeah. put it on the table. Yes. You don't need to see it and you don't need to wear it. No. Mm -hmm. uh, you're getting radiation from that phone. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, we talked a tiny bit about the Fitbit. The Fitbit does connect to the Wi-Fi. It is disrupting your sleep. Right. If you're going to use it, use it just for a few nights to figure out what's going on with your sleep patterns, but then take it off. And let's look at some ways and some loose solutions to help you sleep better after figuring out. Because you don't want that disruption, and it's going to interfere with the melatonin and helping mm -hmm. you go to sleep. Right. But if, you want, if you've got a second, I'll show you real quickly. Sure. Um, just by muscle testing, and I usually do it this way. So I'm going to get you to do that, um, and I'm got, I want you to resist. I'm just going to try and pull your fingers apart. And Marilyn is really strong. She must have been exercising. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put the phone. But what we're doing is we're oh, yeah. asking her we're body, do you feel. like this and do you need this? Yeah. So put this in your other hand, and I'm going to do this again, and you resist for me. Whoa. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay, tell everybody what just happened. She broke the muscle and because the phone does not like me. Yeah, so that's a no. I don't like that. But let's see how your body might like that. Hold it again. Okay. In the other hand. And okay. let's go ahead and use a magnet on her. Boy, that's on tight. And we're just going to lay it right there for purposes right now instead of trying to... And let's see now if her body likes it. Okay? Very much so. So it was tight, meaning yes, I do accept that now. So what we're trying to do is get her grounded. Mm -hmm. uh, if you ever, uh, I don't know, if you're old enough to remember, we didn't have uh, GFIs on the electrical outlets when I was a little girl, so I went to go plug in my radio. And when I went to go plug it in, I was barefoot on a cement floor. Oh my gosh. So that electricity went right through my body, picked me up, and threw me back three feet on the concrete floor. Ooh. It went right through me. Wow. So what we're trying to do is. Um, to dis dissipate that energy from your body is yeah, what we're trying take to do. It away. Take it away Move from it. your body, so that Put our it out there. yeah, <laughs> take it away. So take that it we, away. So that we can use our phones and our computers, right. right? So there is a way to do that now, and and using magnets helping to ground the body. 
Yeah, well, yeah. I had just, my, my daughter gave me a Fitbit for Christmas. Okay. And I had not had a chance to upload it or anything. And one day earlier this week, Shanice and I met at our favorite hangout. And um, I was telling her about it. And she says, you've got to get your Fitbit going. It's not that hard, Dr. Scott. It's not that hard. <laughs> so I said, yesterday, what, I, it was this morning when I went out of sleep. I said, OK, I'm going to do, do my it, Fitbit. So I did. And I wore it mo all day. And then when I was looking on the, my computer at my emails, the Fitbit came up and sent me an email saying, your battery is running low. You need, you need to plug your Fitbit in. So then you have to take it off. Yes. Yeah. So that's why I don't have my Fitbit on tonight, friends. I wanted to wear it tonight, yeah. but I got this wonderful email. And it, it probably wouldn't have worked after a while because yeah. the battery was going down. Mm -hmm. right. But I charged it enough to be able to use it during the day. Yes. But um, I'm not planning on sleeping with it. Good. Mm. Good to hear you know? that. And the yeah. other thing is, I took a little bit of a nap with Jacob today, but um, it didn't record that I was sleeping. Mm -hmm. It didn't record yeah. how many minutes. And I don't know if it, you're. Yeah. I don't know if you're supposed to um, program it that way or not. Right. I didn't program it that way. Yeah. And it's too much so. control. I, oh yeah. I, I, I would control. just say it, it's, it's not going to be from some of the research. It's not going to be as accurate as yeah. you think it's going to be. Right. Yeah. I, that's why I do a sleep diary because mm -hmm. it's it's much more you. That's what I need to hear from is you. Nobody knows you better right. than you. Right. Better than you. And mm -hmm. yes, yeah. Yeah. Right. But, um, but yeah, I mean, they've got the water system, which is right. Amazing. The water and that water, it how it feels because I've drank it before. Mm -hmm. It feels like silk going down yes. your throat. Yeah. It's got a totally different consistency. It is awesome. It just feels so good yeah. going down mm -hmm. your throat. Yeah. It really does. We well, talk love about it. the toxins, and it helps to not only get the toxins out of the water you're drinking but help you to detox as well and I do want to talk a little bit about toxins with water because a lot of times when we're in the car and we have a bottle of water and we leave the bottle of water in the car now in the winter time mm -hmm. it's okay yeah but in the summertime you don't want to leave this bottle of water yes. in the car you want to put it someplace or put it in a thermos or take it yeah. with you put it in your purse or if you're done with it throw it in the trash because when you come out of the store, wherever you're at, if you left your bottle of water in there because yeah. of the plastic, and we don't know what this plastic is made of, it sure. can be toxic. Yes. And you, then you're drinking nothing but a toxic liquid. And it can be very detrimental to you. So if you have accidentally left your water in, in the car, the car and it away. got hot and it yeah. you know because they can get really really hot mm -hmm. and the, the water is hot throw it out yeah it's leaching it's leaching those it's toxins. leaching toxins out from and the, I'm trying to think of the singer the, the singer that um, uh, Cheryl who was it that, Cheryl Crow I think it was that she they linked her breast cancer back to the water to the water that she was drinking and it, she'd left it and it got heated and all those toxins uh, the we're sad thing leaching. Is we don't know how long the water has been on those trucks. You you're don't. absolutely right. Else, so oh, you're you, know. you do not know. Right. You you're do right. Not know. Yeah, yeah. So I normally drink the water from my my refrigerator because we've got a filter you've in got there, that, yeah. and I trust that filter more than I trust what's in the there. Water, what's in here? Yeah. You know. But I use this on the fly, and I like I love water. It is my beverage of choice. Yes. Now a lot of times. Recently, I've been drinking a lot of herb teas. Mm -hmm. I've been drinking a lot of turmeric ginger yes, tea. Good stuff. Because I need it for the healing, the healing purposes. Yeah. Because I do not want to have rotator cuff surgery. I don't Talk really about know. losing energy. I don't want to go there. No. I don't want to go there. So I understand. That is what is so vitally important to mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. to make sure that, um, you know, I've. I'm okay. I'm having an MRI on Monday. I don't like MRIs. They're noisy. Mm -hmm. It's like being in a construction zone. <laughs> and you're in a huge magnet. Yeah. Mm. A huge magnet. And years ago, I had an MRI at a different hospital. And when I was filling out the papers, you know, I have to fill out all these papers and stuff. And I said to the girl, I said, Do I have to take off my ring? She says, You have to take off 
every piece of jewelry, Metal. she says, because you are going to be in a huge magnet. magnet yeah. Well, friends, I slipped out. Ooh. The thought of being in a huge magnet just did not mm -hmm. sit right with me. So I'm gearing myself up for this, knowing I'm going to be in a yeah. huge magnet, taking off all my jewelry and stuff. And I just hope and pray that they'll find out whether yeah. they, my rotator cuffs torn or whatever. But I'm going to fix it either mm -hmm. through magnetic therapy through the tape mm -hmm. i've got this magnetic oh. tape on show that tape lisa well now this has far infrared in it which is right. like the sun's mm -hmm. energy um it's a thermal regulator so it cools you down warms you up it is kinetic tape people say well i can get that somewhere else i said but this actually has far infrared in it and right. negative ions so it's going to help the body with that healing process a lot quicker than just your normal tape but we've got you all taped up right my husband put it on this morning mm. yes. yes this morning he put it on yes. again and it does feel a whole lot better and I notice a difference yeah well think about it if you injured something and even if you haven't injured something we all have inflammation in our body mm -hmm. at any time any day I don't care how healthy you are you still have inflammation right so inflammation is actually heat so if you can actually cool that down right it's gonna again help that help healing that's that why I tell process. people yeah. if you've sprained an ankle yeah. or you know done some damage to a joint or your joints are a little angry they're not happy <laughs> get go in your freezer and get some ice or go get in your freezer a bag of peas and put it on there because what that mm -hmm. does is it dissipates mm -hmm. the inflammation and if you put heat on it that brings all the inflammation to the forefront. <laughs> Put a magnet on it, yes, mm -hmm. because that helps dissipate the inflammation. And we all, like Lisa said, we all have inflammation in our bodies. And inflammation is not fun. No, it's not. You know, and if you ignore it, sometimes it gets worse. Mm -hmm. So try to give us a call, give me a call, um, or email me at um, Healthy Living with Maryland 2017 at gmail.com put in the subject TV show that you saw me on my TV show mm -hmm. and ask your question I will get back with you within 24 hours and you know we can talk about it um, also go to my website www.healthylivingwithmaryland.com go to my links page scroll down and go to my YouTube page and please when you press onto that, it will take you to my YouTube page. Mm -hmm. And please subscribe to my YouTube page so you can get the emails for um, the notices that Healthy Living with Marilyn is going to be live. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be on, t we're doing our TV show yes. on YouTube and Facebook. And everything's going to be great. And if you have any questions, I do a segment at the end called Hashtag Ask Marilyn. If you have any questions, Please send them to Healthy Living with Maryland's 2017 at gmail.com or through the contacts of my website. Mm -hmm. And um, I will answer your question on the air. Give me your name, your address, and your phone number. And if your question is going to be on the air, I will send you a gift. Oh, Just a little gift, nice. but I'll send you a gift. Mm -hmm. So, cool. um, yes, I don't have an Ask Qu Maryland question today. So, um, I'll you put know. a question out. Okay, so, put a question out, Josie. So it's a kind of a question comment, but as you were talking about um, putting the cold on, and it just occurred to me with the magnets, I've always taken a cold metal can, um, a soda can, okay. to rub yeah. on anywhere. Yeah. Really? Um, because metal, if you think of what the boxers, oh, when, they get, when, the, when the boxers That's get right. hit, they take the metal. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I remember when I was young and we would fall and hurt ourselves, yes. my aunt would take a spoon and put on it. Yeah. So, you know, if you fell and you hit your head to prevent the knot from coming, she would just take the cold spoon uh -huh. and put it on it and it would stop the, the swelling. Yeah. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I haven't so I learned about the cold, the spoon, yeah. and then mm -hmm. I've just always used um, a, like a soda can. Yeah, I don't have sodas anymore, but you know, if there's a can, a beer can okay. that's in the refrigerator and just take it mm -hmm. and massage that area that's swollen. I haven't used ice in, in 13 years. Yeah. yeah. UVA actually did a study on magnets and mm -hmm. um, helping with the healing of wounds. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. And he says we may replace that ice with magnets in oh, yeah. the future. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, well, sometimes when you got two kids that you're running around, yes. you don't have time to look for the magnet. <laughs> Although I did get one of the pendant, the pendant. things that you, yeah. you have there. Right and, here. Um, yeah. 
but having said that, sometimes I just get ice because it's a whole lot easier and I can just it's go in It's better than nothing. It's, yeah, it is it's better, better than, than nothing. nothing. Better and you got to use what you have. Exactly. I mean, if you have a frozen bottle of water in there, and if you freeze it, you don't want to drink it afterwards because no, the don't. toxins have gotten in it too. <laughs> so, you know, go out and water your weeds or something. <laughs> yeah. um, don't water your plants because your plants you might... Kill yeah. them. You're going to kill them. You might not want to, no. you know... You, if you want your plants alive, don't, don't water them with the water. <laughs> but anyhow, if you've got a frozen bottle of water, my, my mom does this yes. for her feet. She will take a bottle of water and freeze it in the freezer, and then she'll roll her feet on it, top of it. Yeah. which has really helped yeah. her with the inflammation I'm sure. on her feet. Yeah. So that's another way. Mm. If you don't have magnets, freeze one of these, and yeah. you can rub it on your arm. You can roll your feet on it. Yeah. I'm telling you, it feels really good. It feels really good to have, um, to have yeah. that coolness, yeah, cool, you know. Yeah. And I don't know. I like ice. You like ice? Yeah, yeah. I like ice. I like it's ice. It's always too cold for me. I don't know. Yeah, my dad was like, oh, it's too cold. Now I, know, and I can't that's do what I would ice. say. It was it's too like, cold. Okay. Yeah, okay. But, my granddaughter um, just chews ice. She'll bite it. And I'm like. That's not good for your teeth. You know? Yeah. yeah. So it's her baby teeth, so hopefully by the time she's older and gets her permanent teeth, she'll hopefully. stop. Yeah. yeah. But um, the one thing I want to talk about just shortly is stress. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I hit the peak of stress. Mm -hmm. I had a migraine headache, and I had no energy, and it was 11 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and I had two kids running around circles around me. Now, I mm -hmm. got to the point where I said, I don't know if I can make it the rest of the day. <laughs> no, I bet. So what I did was I got Jacob quiet, I got Sammy quiet, and I just took five minutes mm. for myself because I could feel the cortisol mm. erupting mm -hmm. in me. I mean, I just could have, I felt all these stressful, mm -hmm. stressful in, in, in the environment that I was mm -hmm. in, and mm. I could feel the bricks on my shoulders, and I had this migraine headache, and I'm thinking, I'm not going to make it till 5 o'clock. And so I took some time out for me. So don't feel bad about taking time out for you when you are in a stressful situation. Mm -hmm. Walk away from the stress. Walk stressors. away from it for a little bit. It will give you, it will recharge you. Mm -hmm. You don't have anything else, it will recharge you. Mm -hmm. You know, close your eyes. I closed my eyes for about five minutes. Close your eyes. Take some deep breaths. Just do for you because that's how I made it through the rest of the day. Yeah. Plus, I managed to take a little bit of a nap with, with Jacob, which was, was good. which was cool. Yeah. Now, there's a couple people I want to say hello to. I want to say hello to Rob Crampton. Um, hi, Rob, if you're watching. Um, I talked to him today. He does myofacial massage. Yes. Mm, and um, I hope someday he'll be able to be on my show. And I want to say hello to Marty Panetta who was on my premiere yeah. show. Marty now is back in Thailand. Oh. And yes, she lives in Thailand. Lovely. She was here for like Lovely. 10 weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah, she did the around the world trip. And she, her, her boys live up in DC, so she was up in DC. But she came down for two days to spend time with me to be on my show. She gave me this lovely scarf, and she said today on Facebook that she was going to set her alarm so she could get up. So it's almost nine o'clock in the morning at in Thailand because they're about twelve hours ahead of us. So Marty, if you're there, hi Marty, hi Jerry, how are you? Hope you guys are doing well, and I'm glad you got made it back in one piece to Thailand. So um, I want to say hello to my kids, too. Um, my son, Donnie, is always watching my show. Uh, <laughs> God bless him. I just am so glad that he's in my corner. He says, Mom, we got to talk about some things about your show. I was like, that's fine. We'll do that. <laughs> he and his, his fiance, they're getting married in August. I'm so excited about that. That's We're awesome. just going to go out for a fast turnaround in San Diego and on a Friday mm -hmm. and come back on Sunday. And I just hope I can function on Monday. But I'm off that day, so it doesn't matter. There you go. So I'll be, be able Tuesday. to do for me, huh? And you'll be off Tuesday, so. I'll be off Tuesday, yeah. too. Yeah, that's awesome. And um, I want to say hi to my mom, even though my mom won't see this, but someday she'll see it on Memorex. <laughs> there you go. Um, and my other kids, um, Tiffany and Steve, and Jacob and Sammy, and Christy and Daniel and little Isaac. Isaac came over. They came over on Saturday, the day before Mother's Day. And Isaac, my daughter has always worn Converse. Always. That's what she wears. Okay. 
Now she had some, when she was working, she had some other shoes, but you know, work shoes, but a lot of times she wears Converse. She found the cutest Converse sneakers for Isaac. Aww. They were absolutely adorable. Yes, he looks so cute. Small? Yeah, they <laughs> evidently do. And yeah. I thought that was so cute. So, I think it's kid size. You though. know, don't start, if you have little kids, don't start putting shoes on them until they really start walking because you really want them to develop the muscles in their, shoe, in their feet. In the feet. I didn't start my kids until they had been walking for a couple months. Um, because they really develop a whole lot better okay. when they when when you don't put shoes on them right away. So um, anyhow, I want to thank everybody for listening to us tonight. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Um, we're coming up next weekend for Memorial Day. I'm happy about that. We might get a three day weekend. Ooh, the nice. weather Time is flying. I know oh, the gosh. weather is going to be fabulous this yes. weekend. Judy and I are going to the beach on Saturday. We're going to be working nice. on our retreat. Get out and I'm play. I'm so happy about get that. Out and play. Get out and play. Go ground yourself. <laughs> Go to the beach. Whatever you need to do. Find some energy. We love you all and thank you so much. Yes. Thank you, Lisa, so much for coming. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Absolutely. Josie, again. I want to thank Zen Scott. Um, <clears throat> Michael A. Hall and Shanice. And... Oh. <laughs> you got this closing. and change your life yes. today. Woohoo! Woo! Salute. Thank you.